Back in ETV. Welcome to Balcony TV Zurich. I'm Annika and I'm here with Le Tourist. Welcome. What song are you going to play for us today? Um, we're going to play a song. It's called Bacardi. Cool. Take it away. Präsident und der Arzt sagt sich schlecht, doch ich bin Fachteresistent. Darum nehme ich noch ein Bier und aus zwei mache ich vier. Das Bisswachs treffen wird gar nicht mehr probiert. Gröhl, irgendein Schlier auf dem Heimweg am 8. Und proklamiere meinen König vor der Nacht. Ich werde wach am Dreier in der Riga, nicht keine. Es ist drauf drin, ich meine, wir laufen ja nur ein. Vorbei. Und fällt es ein Do auf mich Schnabi, wie nimm es mag einfach nicht stehen. Und all die Pille haben verleiden mit so viel. Die Vögel jetzt bei jedem Bingo spielen. Und die Tonnenlore gefällt mir, sie kommt mir so scharf vor. Ich nimm sie mit auf die Tour mit meinem neuen Jarolator. Und wir pixeln aus und diese durchs Quartier. Ich will zwar alt, aber ein Boxen wie die Nier. Oh my god. Very difficult. It's so difficult. This reminds me of like gym class. <laughs> it, took us, it took us quite a while That's to rehearse. Pretty, so pretty yeah. intense, yeah. <laughs> was that harder than writing the song or what was more difficult? Yeah, so like, we're really better at making music than dancing, yeah. so as you might have noticed. But <laughs> How did this song evolve? How did it come about? Well, it kind of uh, came into existence after a long night of partying, as, mm -hmm. as it usually goes uh, yeah. with our songs, I'd say. And then we just, just started jamming out, and then um, that's how the song came into existence. So tell me about the story. What, what's, what's the song exactly about? Is it about partying, or what is it? Well, it's kind of a, that kind of partying where you really want to go home at four o'clock in the morning, but you, you don't really make it, and then you stay until like eight or nine. And <laughs> because just like, four is really early, yeah. Yeah, and then like the night is over, and they start again, and this, that kind of feeling we packed into the song. So that's usually how it goes with your songs. It all happens in one go. Um, it kind of does, yes. Yeah. It's usually jamming and I come up with the lyrics and then the, the song starts evolving, I'd say. Yeah, and so this song, uh, you told me before, is actually has never been heard by anyone else, so it's a premiere. So thanks very much. Um, it's part of an upcoming album, is that right? Yes, that's right, but the label told us not to tell the audience yet when it's going to be released. So you can tell me. You can tell um, they, they told us just to check on Facebook, uh, like uh, every day at least, okay. <laughs> and then you're going to find out when it's going to be released. And then yeah, you it's know. a reasonable request. Just check every day till 2018. It's fine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so tell me about how, how did you guys meet? How did you come together as a band? Um, it, we kind of started off uh, four or five years ago, I think it was. Um, we went to school together, oh. and uh, Simon joined us a bit later, mm -hmm. for, uh, like two years or one year ago. And um, since then, we're doing what we're doing, as yeah. you see right here. It's kind of like jazz pop, as you describe on your website. Is that kind of what we can expect from the upcoming album as well? Yes, that's it. We never really had a guitar. And mm -hmm. then as we started jamming, it just kind of got jazzier. Yeah. And then that's how it stayed. And I think that's how the new album's going to be. Yeah. But you're not actually an all-boy 
band, you're missing one female member, which I'm very disappointed about. Yes, that's true. I'm really sorry, <laughs> but uh, Sarah I couldn't make it today, but she uh, sends her best regards. Okay, fine. <laughs> she does fit on the balcony, though, so she's welcome. <laughs> yes, I'm going to tell her for next time. So uh, how can people find out more about you and like connect with you and find out about your upcoming concerts and stuff like that? Um, as I mentioned before, it'd be best to check our mm -hmm. social media feeds as you go like... Um, but what do kids have nowadays, like uh, Facebook and um, MySpace? Or you're whatever. acting like you're a 50-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not really true. You just check out Facebook and Snapchat and whatever, and you'll find us. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks so much for being here, guys. And see you next time on Balcony TV Zurich. Bye. Balcony TV.